six years ago, our family was traveling at night just outside the city of Oxford. As is often the case with young children, we needed to stop. So we found a service station with an array of shops and restaurants. With precision, we filed out of the car, visited the services, and filed back in, resuming our journey. Fifteen minutes later, our eldest son asked a significant question. Where is Jasper? <laughs> Jasper sits on his own at the back of the car. We assumed he had fallen asleep or was hiding or playing a trick on us. As his brother inspected the back of the car more closely, we discovered our five-year-old son was not there. Our hearts filled with dread. As we made our way back to the service station, we pleaded with Heavenly Father that Jasper would be kept safe. We called the police and informed them of the situation. When we anxiously arrived more than 40 minutes later, we found two police vehicles in the car park, lights flashing. Inside one of them was Jasper, playing with the buttons. <laughs> I will never forget the joy we felt in being reunited with him. Many of the Savior's parabolic teachings focus on gathering, restoring, or striving to find that which has been scattered or lost. Among these are the parables of the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son. As this incident with Jasper has played in my mind over the years, I have reflected on the divine identity and importance of God's children, the redemptive power of Jesus Christ, and the perfect love of a Father in heaven who knows you and me. I hope to bear witness of these truths today. Firstly, children of God, life is challenging. Many people feel overwhelmed, alone, isolated, or exhausted. When things are difficult, we may feel that we have wandered or fallen behind. Knowing that we are all children of God and members of His eternal family will restore a sense of belonging and purpose. President Ballard shared, there is one important identity we all share now and forever. That is that you are and have always been a son or daughter of God. Understanding this truth, really understanding it and embracing it is life changing. Do not misunderstand or devalue how important you are to your Father in heaven. You are not an accidental byproduct of nature, a cosmic orphan, or the result of matter plus time plus chance. Where there is design, there is a designer. Your life has meaning and purpose. The ongoing restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ brings light and understanding regarding your divine identity. You are a beloved child of Heavenly Father. You are the subject matter of all these parables and teachings. God loves you so much that He sent His Son to heal, rescue, and redeem you. Jesus Christ recognized the divine nature and eternal worth of each person. He explained how the two great commandments to love God and love our neighbor are the foundation of all of God's commandments. Two, the redemptive power of Jesus Christ. The atonement of Jesus Christ is the supreme expression of our Heavenly Father's love for His children. The word atonement describes the setting at one of those who have been estranged or separated. Our Savior's mission was to provide both a way to return to Heavenly Father and relief in the journey. The Savior knows through His experience how to support us through life's challenges. Make no mistake, Christ is our rescuer and the healer of our souls. Third, Heavenly Father's love. For the record, Jasper is witty, affectionate, intelligent, and rambunctious. But the key to this story is, he is mine. He is my son, and I love him more 
than he will ever know. If an imperfect earthly father feels this way about his child, can you imagine how a perfect, glorified, loving, heavenly father feels about you?